Another rich source of fuel for the imagination are bits and pieces of overheard conversations. And living in the city, as I do, means I'm surrounded by hundreds and thousands of conversations. All I need to do is listen, and something will you know, grab the attention. And the, it's not one particular thing that makes me listen. It could be the content, you know, what is the subject. It could be a certain rhythm or musicality uh, with which those words come out. It could be the sound of the voice you know, the color, its flavor, all kinds of things like that, they will just grab me. And what I believe happens is that I, the ones that are peculiar get stored away and they wait for this glorious moment when I'm working on a story and I sort of go into the memory banks and say, oh yes, I'll take you out, I'll take you out, I'll take you out. And voila, a story gets made with these things. At least that is what I'm claiming <laughs> happens, but uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's exactly that way, but this will do.